When you hear a loud squeaking sound every time you press on the brake in your car, you can probably figure there's something wrong with your brakes. Uh, the number one reason is worn brake pads. So when you have worn brake pads, it decreases your stopping power because the wheels have to be able to bite onto the pad. This is a old pad and this is essentially just the backing of the pad, the metal support. This is a new pad. You can see there's a big difference between the two. This one has this thick asbestos, well, this uh, combination of metal and composite way to stop brakes or stop the wheel from turning by pushing against a rotor. So, big difference here. The problem with knees, joints, humans have joints that are lined with cartilage. Cartilage is supposed to be something smooth like this or at least it's supposed to cushion against uh, another smooth joint. So when you have two bones that are rubbing together, a smooth cartilage surface on, on one on another with a drop of fluid, synovial fluid, to have the joint go for 80 years without a problem. The thing with a car is that you can tell there's a problem just because your performance stinks and you'll usually get a brake light light up on your dash warning sign. The thing with humans is that we usually have pain and swelling, and that's your brake light that comes up, or your warning sign. But most of my patients, because of one reason or another, choose to ignore that or not pay attention to those signs or symptoms. Especially in the case of being weight, uh, heavy with weight, overweight, a high BMI, that'll put a lot of wear and tear on the knees. Uh, knees are uh, notoriously responsible for uh, filling our uh, operating room schedules with replacements in the United States. There's not a great cartilage replacement you can get for knees. Uh, you just hope to, at least we as physicians, hope that you will stop the offending activity and then allow the body to rebuild its cartilage. So surface. glucosamine sulfate uh, has been around for a long time. I used to use it back in the 90s when I read studies from Germany about how it increased range of motion in arthritic joints. Uh, there's a lot of great studies, uh, one being the gait uh, study, and uh, I'll put links, or at least you can do your own search, I'll put the, the popular studies, on the use of glucosamine sulfate in arthritis. The theory is that it helps the osteoblasts and chondroblasts lay down a new fresh matrix, uh, meaning that those little cells that build bone and build cartilage, they can work to fix the dents, the scratches, the fractures, or the wear and tear areas. Problem is, if your nutrition is poor, or if you continue with the offending activity, it's not going to be able to catch up, and you'll just have a knee replacement, or shoulder problem, or finger problem. So the use of uh, anti-inflammatory medicines is good, with side effects, if you expect the side effects, they take that into account. The use of uh, glucosamine sulfate is great, so I think it's got low side effects. There's still a possibility of upset stomach with uh, glucosamine sulfate, so uh, sometimes you will taper the dose depending on the patient. Uh, usually it's about 1,500 milligrams a day, you divide it by two, and when you use it with chondroitin sulfate or ASU, that's uh, avocado, soy, and unsaponifiables, the improvement in range of motion is better, faster. Uh, sometimes you'll find ingredients like boswellia, uh, shark cartilage, uh, even uh, bromelain. When you use so many ingredients, you're not, I, I'm not sure as a physician which thing helps. I usually like to use one or two things at a time uh, for at least two to three months. And the new studies that are coming out say that you can actually use it for two to three months and then stop it for another two to three months and still have the effects linger on. So you can save money, you can save the side effects if you do have them. Uh, great medicine, low side effect profile with regards to interacting with other medicines. And even if you use it with an anti-inflammatory, uh, again, be careful with the stomach, but you can do both together. Always important to see a physical therapist, maybe even acupuncture. Uh, to develop and ch uh, change the muscle strength around the arthritic joint or the hot joint. And then, by all means, if it's uh, not going away after two weeks, see somebody, a physician mo in sports medicine if you can, just to make sure you didn't do anything wrong with the uh, components inside the knee especially. There's ligaments that we have to worry about, fractures that can happen, and uh, infections.